Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. If you want to get your power back and become dangerous, you got to stop trying to seek revenge and start becoming the best version of yourself. Matter of fact, I got this quote from a philosopher named Confucius, and he said this. Before you embark on a journey of revenge, dig two graves. You see, guys, when you try to get revenge, all you're doing is hurting yourself. That's all you're doing. See, what you really got to do is become great. Killing with success. That right there is the best revenge. Not trying to go out here and get revenge and, and, and get a lick back. Now, nah, don't do that. Just become better. And that right there will crush them. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying uh, just let people disrespect you and let people do whatever they want. That's not what I'm saying. If somebody play around with you, you check them. If they put their hands on you, you have every right to defend yourself. So that's not what I'm saying, all right? So don't get it twisted. That's not what I'm saying. However, if somebody did you wrong or did you dirty, you know what I'm talking about? Don't go say, oh, I'm going to do it back to you or try to get your leg back. Nah, bro. Just become successful and watch how it just crushes them. That right there is how you get your power back. So you don't get your power back by going back and trying to do some dirt. You don't get your power back like that. Nah, you get your power back by becoming great. By investing into yourself. So I'm telling you right now, you will not get nowhere in life always trying to do something to somebody because they did you wrong. Nah, don't have to take your L say, all right, cool. You did me wrong, I bet. I ain't got to rock with you no more. I'm not talking to you no more. But what I will do is focus on myself. What I will do is become great. And I'm telling you, bro, when you operate like that, you will feel good. See, what you have to understand about success is that it hurts everybody who did you wrong in the past. It hurts them, bro. Guys, I'm telling you, bro, success is like the best thing you can do to somebody. And you don't have to be mega successful, like being rich and all that stuff. Nah, bro. Just being happy with yourself. Just becoming better. That right there will hurt them. That right there will make them so angry. Guys, you want to piss somebody off? If you really want to piss somebody off who did you wrong, just become great. <laughs> just level up. That's what you got to do. Ignore them and level up. Because I'm telling you, bro, when you try to go back and forth with somebody, all you're going to do is hurt yourself, man. You're never going to get anywhere. And here's the thing. It's never going to stop. That's life. People going to do you dirty. People going to talk about you behind your back. People going to backstab you. People going to do you wrong. People going to, that, that's life. People going to do that to you. If you think that's not going to happen to you, you're going to lose your mind. This is life. That's what happens. You can't escape that. So you don't have time to sit up here and keep going back and forth with everybody who do that to you. Sometimes you got to take your L and just say, okay, cool. I ain't got to rock out with you no more. I ain't got to deal with you. I'm going to focus on me. Too many dudes be trying to get revenge. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Nah, bro. Take that same energy and put that into yourself. Take that same energy and trying to get revenge and put that in the gym. Take all that out on them weights. That's what I do. Oh, you did me wrong? I bet. Time to hit the gym. <laughs> Time to hit them weights. Boop, boop, boop. That's for anybody. Your ex-girlfriend. Your little, your little situationship. Your sneaky link. Anybody. Somebody at your job. Your boss. Family member. Anybody that did you dirty. Anybody that did you wrong. Hey, don't try to go seek revenge. Don't even tell them what they did was wrong. Guys, don't even tell them. Just cut them off and focus on yourself. That's what I do. I don't tell people nothing. I told you I ain't got to the point in my life where I don't even say nothing. You do me wrong, bye. <laughs> I don't say nothing. I don't say, yo, I don't like what you did or I don't say nothing. I just cut them off and continue on with my self-improvement journey. See, too many people like to embark on the revenge journey and not embarking on that self-improvement journey. See, when you're on that journey of self-improvement, you're not going to have time to be getting revenge. You can't travel on two roads. You have to pick which road you're going to go on. And I'll tell you this one thing, trying to go on that road of revenge will lead you nowhere. It will lead you to depression. It will lead you to being angry, sad, upset, never getting anything done. 
But I tell you, it's one thing when you're on that road to becoming the best version of yourself, that road to success. Oh, trust me, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel great. You're going to feel amazing. You're going to have time to be trying to get no revenge. You're going to be having time to go back and forth. Because you're too busy on your road to success. You're too busy self-improving. So you're going to have time to sit up here and say, okay, I, I got to find out a way to, to get this person back and make them feel what I felt. Nah, bro. You want to make them feel it? Become successful. Oh, they're going to feel it. Guys, I'm telling you, bro, they're going to feel it. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to hurt them so bad. They're not going to know what to do with you. Matter of fact, what they're going to do is ignore you. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna act like you don't exist. Because they can't handle the fact that you leveled up. And guys, I'm going to keep it real with you. I used to be that dude who always tried to get revenge. Always tried to, you know, get back at people who did me dirty. And that never got me anywhere. <laughs> like, it made me feel good for the moment. But long term, it never did anything for me. But I'll tell you this one thing. When I say, you know what? I'm going to focus on self-improvement. That's when I felt good. That right there was the real revenge. You see, when you become great, bro. When you shine, that right there will blind them. That right there is the real revenge when you blind them because you're shining. Because you're looking better. You're feeling better. That right there will blind them. They're going to be blinded by when they're looking at you. Because guess what? They know they can't mess with you. Because now you're dangerous. You're too bright. For them to come up to you and mess with you again. <laughs> You're too bright for them to come up to you and try to touch you or do anything to you. you you're too bright. You're dangerous. So what they're going to do now is just leave you alone. <laughs> not say anything to you. Not say anything about you. They don't want to. They don't want to even be in your in your vicinity. If you walk in the same room as them, they're going to want to leave. Because you shining so bright. You dangerous now. You walking different now. You talking different now. You moving different now. Everything about you is different. All because you went down a path of self-improvement. I'm telling you, bro, that's what self-improvement do. That's what leveling up do. It makes you become so confident in yourself. It makes you become super strong and dangerous. You will be fearless. And people will fear you. I'm telling you, bro. And I'm not talking about fear in the sense of, oh, he's going to do something to me. or oh, he. No, not that type of fear. I'm talking about the fear of respect. That's what I'm talking about. You will gain respect. All because they know you ain't nothing to play with. All because of the way you carry yourself. Because I'm telling you, bro, you will carry yourself differently when you're not trying to seek revenge and just focus on yourself. You will become unbreakable. Because a lot of times, people do stuff to you just so you can react and bring you down to where they at. That's why in the quote, he said, before you embark on a journey of revenge, dig two graves. Because all you're doing is going right to where they at. That's why you don't do that. That's why you operate up there, higher. Yes. You operate above them. You look down on them. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. Don't let nobody say about, oh, you think you better than everybody. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Now what? I don't do what everybody else do. I don't do all the back and forth like everybody else. I don't do the tongue wrestling like everybody else. I'm on this path of self-improvement. So yes, I'm different. And I'm going to carry myself like that. You got a problem with that? Oh, well. That's how you need to operate, bro. That's how you need to carry yourself. Oh, well. It is what it is. But I tell you this one thing. <laughs> you ain't going to play around with me. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. You ain't going to disrespect me. I'll tell you that right now. That's how you got to be. That's how you become dangerous. Ain't nothing wrong with being dangerous. Ain't nothing wrong with being fearless. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's how you're supposed to be as a man. 
Don't be weak and timid. Nah. And once again, I want to clear it up again. Not seeking revenge does not mean let people put their hands on you. Or let people disrespect you. That's not what I'm saying. Once again, if they disrespect you, you check them. If they put your hands on you, you have every right to defend yourself. I want, I want to make that very clear. All right? So don't, don't, get, don't get it twisted. And this is another reason why I tell you guys, have control over your emotions. See, when you have control over your emotions, you ain't going to be trying to go out here seeking revenge on everybody. You ain't going to be having time for that. You, you're not going to be doing that. Because you realize, they're just doing that so I can go all irate and be angry. And a lot of times, what that person is doing is trying to lure you in to a trap. A lot of times it's a trap. You'll be surprised how many times people just do stuff to you just to trigger you and, and get you to walk right into a trap. Matter of fact, what you should do is do the opposite. <laughs> do the opposite. Whatever they expect you to do, do the opposite. That's what I do. Just do the opposite. And watch how much power you're going to gain. And I'm going to keep it real with you right now. Most people don't do the opposite. Most people do exactly what they think they're going to do. So do the opposite. That right there will crush them. Because they're going to be like, dang, he, he, he didn't fall for it. Nope, didn't fall for that. Try again. And I'm going to tell you right now. After a while, they're going to get tired. After a while, they're going to be like, you know what? This dude is just, just unstoppable. Let's just stop trying. But they don't even know that the more they play around with you, the more little slick stuff they do, all they do is make you stronger. And that's all they doing, bro. And guys, I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I know it could be frustrating right now. I know you probably have somebody in your life or somebody you have to deal with. That you just can't just leave alone. Probably somebody at your job or at school. You know, you, you, just, you just can't seem to just get away from them. You have to deal with that person. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Just keep shining. That's what you got to do. If you're not shining yet, still be on that path, bro. Still just, just focus on yourself, man. And show them that nothing that they do phase you. Because that's what they want. They want to get up under your skin. They want to see you bothered and triggered. Nah, bro. Don't let them phase you. And I'm telling you, bro, when you do that, they will just say, you know what? I'm done trying because this dude is just not folding. Matter of fact, the harder they try, you flex up even harder. Guys, stop flexing, bro. Stop flexing up. Pop your mess. And I'm not talking about pop mess as far as in Talking trash to them. No, bro. Just flex up like, yeah, I'm that dude. And this is what I always say. Speak life into yourself every morning. Every morning. Because I'm telling you, bro, as you're doing that, you will gain the confidence and strength. I'm telling you, bro, you will get all the power you need when you start speaking life into yourself. Start speaking great things. Because if you don't, other people will speak anything towards you. Other people will say anything they can to tear your confidence down. That's why you have to say it first thing in the morning when you wake up. You have to look in the mirror and say, you're great. You have to look in the mirror and say, I'm not where I need to be at right now, but I will be there. That's how you got to talk to yourself. And when you start doing that, nobody words will have power over you. Because you're too dangerous for words to even come close to you. That's what being dangerous is about. When you don't let words trigger you. When you don't let people get up under your skin. When you're able to stand strong and flex up. That right there is true strength. That right there makes you dangerous. And trust me, that is the best revenge. To flex up after somebody did you wrong. I don't care who it is. That's the best revenge. If it's a girl that left you, you get on your grind. Let her know that ain't nothing stopping. You shine. Post pictures of you looking good. That right there is going to crush her. That right there is the best revenge. When you had that new chick, when you flexing up with your new chick, you're doing new things with your new joint, that right there is going to crush her. Same thing with your boss. 
that did you dirty. Fired you on some bull crap. You show him that, hey, look, my life is getting better. I got a better job. I'm doing better things. Anything in life. Your friends. Let them know that, hey, I don't need y'all. I'm living good over here. I'm eating good. <laughs> we, eating, we eating amazing over here. I don't need you. Anybody that cut throat you, 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 yo, you better take your two legs and get to walking away to the journey of success. That right there will hurt them. They will feel it. And you better believe you're going to shine. Yes. Don't try to be all like, nah, play it humble and cool. Nah. Flex up. Let them know. Yeah. Feel good about yourself. You're supposed to feel good. Don't let nobody tell you to operate down there or nah, bro. You feel good. This is why I tell you guys these things, man. Because if you don't, you will always be trying to seek revenge and keep trying to do all that type of stuff. And you're not even focusing on the main goal. Guys, I'm telling you, bro, you will get so much farther in life by focusing on the main goal ahead and not putting out all these little fires. You slowing down your process. You slowing down your process if you keep trying to engage in every little situation. Sometimes you got to just let people just suffer where they at. Because a lot of people just need a partner to go to hell with. Misery loves company. Some people just want somebody to, 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 to dwell in their misery. To be angry with them. No. You continue down the path of success. Leave them people behind. Stop trying to seek revenge and try to get back. Or, or I'm going to make this person do. Uh, no. Because all you're doing is digging another grave. It's like the quote. All you're doing is hurting yourself. All that pain you think you're going to cause that person. is going to come right back to you. But guess what? When you're on a path of success. And you become better. Oh. <laughs> That pain that, listen here, bro. It's going it, to, it, the pain that they get from you becoming great is going to do way more damage than anything you do to them. Like any like time, if you swing at them and hit them, that's not even going to hurt compared to the success that you're going to have. <laughs> anything you try to do, any little plot you try to make on them to, to damage their life, yo, it's not going to compare to the success you're going to have. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it's not going to compare to you leveling up. It's not, they, they, they it's, it's nothing going to top that. When you start getting in shape, when you get your bag right, when you're feeling good, you're looking good, oh, trust me, it's going to, it's going, it's going, everything going to change, bro. Everything. You will become that guy. See, I already told you guys over here, <laughs> I shine. <laughs> I, I shine. I ain't with none of that. Oh, I'm going to just play it cool. Uh-uh. I shine. I shine. And I like to shine in front of my enemies' faces. Oh, see me? I walk by my enemies cheesing. <laughs> I be smiling in front of my enemies like, whoop, yes, look at me. <laughs> look at me. Oh, yeah. I know you watching. <laughs> That's how you got to be. They watching. They watching. So give them a show. Because <laughs> they know what they did. That's what I'm saying. You ain't got to say nothing. They know what they did to you. They, they, know, they know the little gaslighting, the little, the little slick conniving stuff they do. They, they know what they doing. That's why you have to smile while you doing your thing. <laughs> smile. Let them know that, yeah, I see what you're doing. <laughs> smile. I told you. It needs to be a fashion show when a disrespect comes. It needs to be a fashion show when you're around the people that don't like you. It needs to be a fashion show when you're around your enemies. Because you need to be walking fly. Walking with your good gear on. Like, yup, look at me. I look good. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm up in this spot. What's up? That's the confidence you need to have. I'm telling you, bro, you're going to feel good. When you just walk around people that you know they, you know they don't like you. You know they be trying to do some stuff to you. 
And he's walking right by them like it don't even matter to me. Because that's what I do. Nothing mattered to me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm him. That's the mindset you got to have, bro. God, stop putting your emotions into everything, man. Take your emotions out of it. Stop always putting your emotions into everything. Because I'm telling you, bro, when you put your emotions into everything with other people, you will never be happy with yourself. You will never be confident. You will never be dangerous. You will never be fearless. You will never become successful. You will never have anything of that nature. It's very important that you have control of your emotions. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to have feelings of, you know, you're going to be sad sometimes or, you know, you're going to go through things. That's not what I'm saying. We human. We all go through that. However, you have to control your own emotions. Never let somebody else come into your life and control it. Never let somebody else come into your life and say anything to, to trigger your emotions or, or to change anything. No. You have to be in control of it at all times. Because you will always make the right decision when you're not emotional. You will always make the right decision when you are not emotional. But the minute you get emotional and try to seek revenge, trying to get your get back and your lick back, bro, you will lose. You will make a mistake. It ain't nothing going to be right because your mind ain't clear. Sometimes you got to just smile and say, cool, <laughs> watch me be great. Watch me get on this grind. Watch me level up. And that right there is the best revenge. That's how you get to lick back. <laughs> By getting in that gym. Focusing on fitness, finance, fashion, self-improvement. That's how you do it. And I'm telling you, bro, when you do that, you will gain all the strength you need. You will become super strong and you'll become dangerous and nobody will dare play with you. Bottom line, guys, if you want to become dangerous, stop trying to seek revenge and start becoming the best version of yourself. But with that being said, focus on yourself, continue to elevate, and only deal with the women that want to deal with you. Point blank period, all right? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide, man. I hope you got the message in this video. Just like all my videos, there is a message in there. Y'all already know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Another time.